this is, I think, something that a lot of people say, but again, don't do. And when I say give, it doesn't always have to be money, right? It could be time. It could be compliments. It could be effort. You got to give. You got to give more. Steve, the person I told you about who passed away 13 years ago today, when I first started, the advice I got in the mortgage industry was go meet one to two top producing realtors and they'll change your business. So what did I do? I went to everywhere realtors were and I tried to gain their business. Like, can I work with you? Can I work with you? Can I work with you? Can I have a deal? I promise I'll be great. Can I have a deal? Didn't get business. And Steve was so awesome. He always used to teach me through analogies and stories. And I remember walking by his office because after about six months of that, the effort was there, but the strategy was a little off, right? So I walked by Steve's office and he could see that I'm down, my body language. And he's like, hey, come in here. He goes, do you, do you see what you're doing? And he's like pumped about what I've been doing over the last six months. I'm like, uh, I don't think I'm doing much because not much money's coming in. And he goes, well, what do you, like, what, what's happening? What do you, he goes, I'm, I told him I'm going to broker events. I'm going to um, offices and I'm meeting realtors. And he's like, okay. Um, he goes, do me a favor. He goes, uh, put your hand out. And I put my hand out like this. And he said, um, he goes, okay. He goes, he grabs my wrist and he turns my wrist around. And he says, you have got to learn how to give first. Find something of value to give first. And then you have the right to get. So he said, you're going in like this and you've got to go in and get obsessed about how you're going to give to every single person and give to them multiple times because that is how it starts to come back to you. 